Hello all, welcome to the web application pen testing course on Pentester Academy. Now in this video, let's go ahead and build on the knowledge we acquired uh, in the last one and look at how to play with digest authentication by creating our own hashes. Now, in the last video, we had looked at creating a response using two hashes, hash1, which is MD5 of username, realm, and password, hash2, which is an MD5 of the method and URI, and the response, which is an MD5 of hash1, nonce, and hash2. Now, as I already mentioned, this is according to RFC 2069. And now let's try and go ahead and create the hashes ourselves. Now you can use a multitude of languages and systems to do this. I prefer Python and we also have a full blown Python course available on Pentester Academy, uh, which you can have a look at if you're interested. Even if you do not want to learn the language, I really think uh, it's possibly worth your time in at least looking at what it can do for you, which is what we'll see in this video. Now, uh, of course, we wouldn't go out and try and write our own MD5 algorithm implementation. And this is where we are going to use Python's implementation available in a module called Hashlib. So let's first go ahead and create the hash. Uh, and let's go in here just to remind you, this is the challenge we are working on, challenge five. And what I'm going to do is first launch Wireshark and capture the request end to end. So let me start sniffing. Let me add a filter for HTTP. Let me go back in here, Pentester Academy, enter Pentester Academy. And right now I'm going to put in the right username and password, which is admin and ASDDS. And of course it says challenge cracked. And we should have a bunch of packets in here. Let me stop the collection. And let me go up here. So this is the first request sent by us to the server, which was a get for a resource. The server responded back with a 401 unauthorized. And if you notice, just like we saw before, in the www-authenticate header, we have the nonce. And after that, we respond back with a reply. Here is our response. And the server basically responds with a 200 okay. So let me work through this example and try and take the value of the nonce and all of that and compute the response and prove that that response uh, is really identical to what we have sent to the server and which it accepted as a valid response, right? So we are going to do what the web browser did step by step. So let me go back in here. Let me type in Python, import hashlib. And now let's create hash one. Now to remind yourself, hash one was really nothing but the username, the realm and the password. Right, the difference is we are going to use the password AS double DS, uh, while in the slide it is AS DSS. And then we convert uh, this into an MD5 hash and then convert that hash into a hex digest so that we can comfortably use it. So let's go ahead and do this. So we have hash lib dot MD5 admin colon Pentester Academy colon 
the password, the right password as we used was ASTDS and then hex digest. Now it's super, super important that you cannot have even a capitalization error in here, right? Your MD5 would differ totally from what would be output if you make any form of errors. So let's look at hash one and hash one is 2C9 blah, blah, blah and ends in 9195. Now, when you guys are trying this on your setup, you should get an exact answer which matches what is here. If you don't go back and revisit the string on which you're creating the hash, the string would definitely be different. Okay, fantastic. Now let's go in here and let's now create hash two, right? So hash two is basically the method followed by the URI. So let's go back in here. Hash two is equals hashlib.md5, the method which is get. Now the URI uh, is something we can go ahead and pick up from in here. So if you notice the URI which we are trying to hit for is slash lab slash web app slash digest slash one, right? That is what we have to use here as well. Slash lab slash web app slash digest slash one. Any mistake here would again go ahead and jeopardize uh, what we are trying to do. So let me verify lab web app digest one lab web app digest one because i'll tell you guys the worst kind of mistake when you're working through this is like mistakes in the strings you use and all of that because you would write the program you would get everything absolutely right and because of a mistake uh, you know in copying a string you pretty much end up thinking what you're doing is wrong okay so get lab web app digest one hex digest so here is hash two this also has to be identical because the parameter I am using, which is get and lab web app digest one is identical to what you need to use, right? Fantastic. Now let me go in to the third part, which is calculating the response hash for which we need to extract the nonce from the request. Now this step would differ for both of us uh, because we're going to pick up the nonce from uh, what the server sent us and because the server is supposed to generate new nonces uh, for other clients, you would end up seeing a different nonce for yourself. So let me pick up this nonce. Let me right click and say follow TCP stream. And let me Go ahead and copy the nonce from here. Let me go back in here. Let me paste this. Okay. Now let's go back to computing the final response hash. The final response hash is an MD5 of hash one, the nonce and hash two. Okay. Let's go back in here and we say response string equals uh, hash one plus colon plus nonce plus again colon plus hash two. Right, let's see how our response string is looking like. It should be long. There you go. So this is hash one, nonce, and then hash two separated by colons. Now we need to create an MD5 over this. So let's say response equals hash lib dot MD5. And even if you do not know Python, honestly, the syntax is super easy. But you know what we are doing right now. So uh, I think it should be easy to follow along and and once you 
are exposed to the beauty of the Python language, uh, probably uh, it may motivate you to learn it. Right, so response is hashlib.md5 for the response string and then a hex digest. So let me now view the response, which is 30, 50, blah, blah, blah. Let me go back in here. And if you notice, uh, the response which we have is 30, 50, 46, blah, blah, blah. The one in here. And ends in 66, B8. Ends in 66, B8 as well. Fantastic. So what have we really done? We have computed uh, the response the way the browser would, but manually so that now each and every concept about how the HTTP digest authentication is created uh, is really crystal clear to you, at least for RFC 2069, right? It's crystal clear. Okay. Now, only keep in mind that among all these three hashes, hash one and hash two would be identical for both of us, while uh, the response hash would be different because we would be picking up different nonces from the Wireshark trace file. So hopefully now this is clear uh, entirely. Try this out and thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.